Hello everybody, uh, Crypto Explorer here. Um, I wanted to make a video on how to import your paper wallet, your offline wallet, um, your Electrum offline wallet that, that was generated through here. This uh, off offline wallet generator. And import it into the command line wallet. So I've already generated a wallet um, in a previous video when I did this for Windows. Um, so if you want to know um, how to do that, or uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Um, also, just to note that um, this do this at your own risk. It's it, it's a little bit more involved and. Um, you know, if a mistake is made, uh, something is entered incorrectly, um, you could possibly lose everything. I just want to put it out there. But um, this is mainly a tutorial for just so if you want to kno know how to do it or want to try it, um, just wanted to make this video tutorial. But as I said, just if you do try this, um, I would personally do this with a wallet that I didn't mind a lot on or um, just about have uh, very few just to test out to learn um, but with that said um, let's get started first thing you want to do and you probably if you saw my other video you probably did it already is to download um, the Mac miner so when you download it and then extract it, it gives you all these uh, applications here. So um, I've already downloaded it, I've already extracted it. Um, when you run it, you may have to go to, it may tell you it's blocked, so you would have to go to your security set settings by going to, let's go from the beginning, let's go to, by hitting your Apple icon, then system preferences, and then security and then allow but um, I've already done it um, you can check my pr prior Mac video to see um, how to do it um, when uh, mining okay so let's get on so the first thing we want to do is make sure we have all this if you if you downloaded it in the default areas um, the commands that I put here will work um, so first thing we want to do is start the miner, which is this one, Electronium MD. So double click on it to get it started. And if you've uh, already started mining with it, it's probably not going to take too long to sync up. And we are synchronized. The next thing we're going to do is open a terminal window. So I'm going to click here to open a right click here and then go new window. Okay. So we need to get to the directory where all this is at. So we're going to type in CD downloads. And then cd mac os dash x64 dash zero. And then we are going to, this is the command we need to type to generate, to import our wallet keys. Now this is down here. This is the wallet address from uh, that key, that wallet. I generated and this is the private seed and the private view um, I believe it's called one moment here on the wallet itself they call it private send and private view yeah it's private spend and it's private view okay yeah here we go private spend private view so let's this is the command to start 
basically this wallet program and then this is what we're going to call the wallet the name of the wallet Mac wallet you can turn it change it to anything else but whatever you name it you need to remember it in the future so I'm just going to copy and paste this and hit enter oh, let's see what did I do wrong oh I didn't sorry I didn't hit enter on my um, to change directory to the map there we go and oops CD Mac OS X let's do let's list first so I should see See what did I type wrong here? There we go. Yeah, got to double check your typing. I had an extra space in there and going to copy and paste this command. So like I said, use it your own risk. Um, double check what you're doing. I'm I'm doing this on a wallet that basically has less than one uh, electronium. Hit enter. So it's going to ask you the standard address, which is your electronium address. So I'm going to copy this and paste and hit enter. And the secret spend key, which is the private spend here copy and paste hit enter secret view key which is the private view here copy and paste and hit enter and give it a new password so I'm just gonna type the password twice remember what it is And I'm going to hit enter for the default restore. And basically, it's going to start refreshing through all the blockchain. So right now, the wallet is now imported in um, in this CLI wallet for the Mac. With that, you're able to uh, send whatever is in that wallet to another wallet or uh, what most people are doing since uh, Electronium is now on the exchange is sending it to their Cryptopia wallet. So I'm going to put this on the side while it does its thing. Um, and then let me put some commands here that so so this is the wallet seed that was generated the last time. Oh, it's done. So I'm going to, if you hit the, if you type the command C, let me put this back in the middle. And then your wallet password. And then it's going to ask you what language. I'm going to do one for English. Notice they're exactly the same. So another command beside, so if this is your first time importing the wallet, you may you want to copy it. So I'm going to highlight, right click, and copy, and then paste it. So this is really all that you need to keep if you ever have to restore your wallet anywhere on Mac, or Windows, even Linux. So 
let's do another command here. You want to do the command called balance. This will tell you how much electronium is in there. Um, now, if you want to send your electronium to Cryptopia, I'm already logged in in here. You have to go up here and click deposit. Then for currency, you're going to go electronium and then click next and then it's going to give you a payment ID and a Cryptopia address so let's copy this this is the payment ID then paste Oop, let's copy sorry copy and then paste And uh, a tronium address to send it to. So let's copy and paste. Okay, let's go back to the wallet. So to send electronium to another address, you use a transfer com call, a command called transfer. So transfer and then space the address you're transferring to, which is this. And then space and then the amount. Now there is hardly any electronium in here. I don't think it's going to work. So I'm just going to put 0 0.05. We'll see if it'll, it'll take it. And then space. And then the payment ID. And paste. So we're going to take this whole line. Copy and paste it into here and then hit enter Oop. let's double check copy I think the caps lock Oops. And enter. So it's going to ask you the wallet password. So it's case sensitive, yeah? That's why I didn't work the first time. So put the wallet password, hit enter. Hit yes, Y for yes. Oh, and it did. So you know, if you want to see the tr status of the transfer, go show underscore transfers and hit enter. And I'll show you you have a pending. So that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't do this in the Windows one, but uh, some folks are asking, how do you go back in if you exit? So let's exit by hitting exit, typing exit. So because we've already imported it once, we can close this terminal. Let me close this terminal. You can actually just go directly to this wallet CLI and double click on it. And it's gonna ask you to specify a wallet name and what the wallet name we created was here, Mac wallet. Hit enter. Oh, I'm sorry, forgot. Mac wallet dot ETN. 
Oh, sorry. Let's click no. Mac wallet dot e t n and enter. Oh. Oh. Let us see. What did I type wrong? Um, because my typing is not that great, let's do the copy and paste method. Copy, paste. Let's see why it's not doing it. Let's close it out again. Let's do this in the terminal. New window, CD, downloads, CD, Mac OS dash X dash six four dash zero and this time we're going to do this without the generate keys. We're just going to copy this. Paste. Enter. And Mac wall. Let dot E T N. There you go. And password. Okay, let's see, show transfers. Looks like it's already done. Let's go to our Cryptopia, click done. And let's go to withdraw, withdraw history. Oh, not withdraw. Go to deposit. Deposit history. Here we go. That's that transaction. It's still unconfirmed. Just went through one confirmation. Anyway, um, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helps. Like I said, again, just do it at your own risk. And um, I would try it with a, a wallet with very little first, just to make sure you get the hang of things. Okay. That's it. Thanks for watching.